riders of each region to have an opportunity to maybe show up their skills and get a full time ride in World Supercross Championship. Yeah, here was Nathan Crawford. He's the number 199. And then Reese Budd, the number 22, both Australian riders. I think that's a great addition to the sport. I love that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here we go. Race two. There's Bogle. Boy, he'd like to see things a little differently on that 891. Tanti as well, hoping to thrill the home crowd here on his Yamaha number 19. Yeah, and you saw Moss, the number 102, right in the middle of the bit. Here come the Rebs. Watch the gate. We're racing again. Trying to get that whole shot. McElrath up the inside, pushes wide, and the 12 is not going to get the whole shot as four riders are down. But it's going to be Oldenburg getting the whole shot. But here comes McElrath trying to steal the lead away. And Bogle was down off that start. I think Chisholm was down also. It's been a rough start for Kyle Chisholm in both of these finals. And it's Tanti out front and leading as Oldenburg gives chase on the 48 and the Australian fans love him seeing Aaron Tanti out front here tonight. Oh, look at it. Oldenburg trying to go wide. He is wasting no time. Cuts back inside here, but Tanti real quick. Oh, up over the finish line jump first. Tanti will lead him as we put two laps in the books here. Oh, McElrath's going to make the pass possibly. Yep, Makes he's up happen. to second and Shane McElrath on the charge now. Can he reel in Tanti? Tanti about it. Here's a look at the onboard with Crawford as they pile into turn number one. Watch as Seeley just went down also. Bull gold Chisholm. It is carnage. Wow. Chaos in turn one here in Australia. Oh. On board with Tanti. How did he come out with the lead? Oh, he tucks inside, gets on the gas, gets a handful, and to the front he goes. Hey, Bogle got a little help going down right there, if you know what I mean. He was there first trying to get turned, and uh, I, he got taken out. Love seeing Aaron Tanti out front here tonight. Jeff, he looked so good last night in the Australian Supercross season opener for their championship. But maybe the thing that hurt him the most last night was a little bit of fitness in that longer race. He seemed to wear down a little bit near the end, and it cost him a shot at the win. I think in this shorter format here tonight, he could be a real threat. He could. Tanti riding that CDR Craig Dak Racing Yamaha celebrating their 30th year as a race team. Craig Dak, of course, legendary racer and now legendary team owner, guiding that team and looking on right now, fingers crossed. So much, uh, you know, anticipation, hoping his rider can go out there and win this second final. Aaron Tanti, the 2022 Australian MX1 national champion in their pro motocross division. Wow, we have got a tight race. Top four or five right there. Tanti battled Almost with Justin Brayton last night. Tonight, however, it's Shane McElrath who's trying to win a world championship. Tanti could be a spoiler. Oh, sliding around a little bit. That's, if you're sitting second, like McElrath, you see him making those mistakes, and then it's like blood in the water. Time to attack. Absolutely. McElrath is in second. Blows some Watch fifth. this. Watch this. That's the turn where Bogle pushed the front end. Tanti gets the back end loose. Oh, look at these fans going nuts right now. They're all cheering for Tanti. Aaron Tanti leading here in front of the hometown crowd. Shane McElrath trying to stand on top of the podium. Win that world championship. There's a look at the points. McElrath, 44. This is the round points, Jeff. Anstey right there, right behind him. That would be for the overall here tonight. Super close. This is, we're going to have, uh, well, we got about a lap and a half left, left to go here. The crowd coming along really behind the Australian rider 19 as you would expect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big crowd on hand here tonight. And they're hoping Tanti can give them something to scream about. Anstey has moved up as he moves into third. He'll move to the top of the overall standings for tonight with our round points right now in front of McElrath close to Tanti and Owen. You know, I'm just not seeing anywhere on the track where Tanti 
ha has any problem in any place where McElrath can make up any time on him. I mean, he is riding awesome. He's got about a half a lap to go. As a rider, you thrive to be in this situation, like Chad Reed was talking about. Right now, he's got to get through the whoops good. You just fear that he gets a little too aggressive on the throttle, makes a slight uh, mistake. He looks so smooth right now. Over the wall jump. Here he comes. Tanti, a couple of corners to go. The boss man, Craig Dak, has to be happy about this. Here in Marvel Stadium, it's Aaron Tansty taking the win in race number two. His first SX2 feature win. And he does it in front of the home crowd in Melbourne, Australia. That was really close to the top four or five. You got Blos right there. Tanty, McElrath, Anstey, Oldenburg, and Blos. So all the riders in the thick of the chase, Jeff, for this world championship right in there with him. Cream rises to the top.